Hey East Texas guys for load tractor and equipment coming to you for your tune-up Tuesday and today we're going to talk about how to, how to side a dipstick. Actually no we're not talking about people but we're talking about side glasses and dipsticks and hang with us and I'll tell you the difference between the two. couple of different ways to check your hydraulic fluid whether it's a sight glass or a dipstick most tractors have one or the other now on this particular tractor it's got a sight glass now the sight glass is basically a window looking into where your hydraulic reservoir is so you can see the level of your hydraulic fluid I'm going to give you a couple of different tips to make sure you're getting an honest readout in that sight glass number one make sure your three point is lowered all the way down make sure your loader is lowered all the way down that way it pushes all that fluid back to uh, back to your uh, reservoir number two just make sure that uh, the engine is off that keeps that stuff from cycling uh, now let's step over to the dipstick so as i mentioned some some have dipsticks as well such as this m7060 so when you're checking the hydraulic fluid on the m7060 the dipstick for that is located here on the, the back of the tractor now, this may be a little challenging to see what your fluid levels are because the fluid is clear. A couple of tips to see what your fluid levels are. Once you pull that dipstick out, you can take a paper towel and lay that dipstick on the paper towel and that'll kind of establish where the fluid is on the dipstick. Number two, you can run your finger down till you really start to press some fluid and that'll give you a good good indicator too where the hydraulic fluid comes up on the dipstick but the main thing is you've still got to keep your tractor off and you've still got to keep your implements and your loaders down to give you an honest reading of where the level is for your hydraulic fluid so make sure that you know whether you've got a sight glass or a dipstick make sure that you know where it's located and also make sure that your implements are lowered and your tractor is off hope this tip helped for today Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time.